Imagine your partner was routinely disappearing with no explanation for days at a time. Now imagine receiving an anonymous tip telling you that same partner was involved with someone else. What would you do? On today's case, Ms. Davis says her man's regular Houdini disappearing acts, suspicious correspondence, and lack of interest in their family have her thinking that maybe it's time to make this relationship and Mr. Thomas disappear for good. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Stark presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Davis versus Thomas. Thank you very much. Ms. Davis and Mr. Thomas. Ms. Davis, you are here in court today because you say you are at the end of your rope. You say Mr. Thomas is a cheater who likes to disappear without a trace. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Thomas, you're here today in court because you say that you want to save your relationship. You claim to have never cheated and you want to convince Ms. Davis that you're doing the very best you can as a partner. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so you two are extremely young, yet you've been together for five <laughs> years. And you've lived together for four of those years, and I understand you have a one-year-old daughter together. Yes, Your Honor. So you're raising a family. Yeah, that's correct. So there's some stakes when it comes to what we're talking about today, because there's a child involved. Ms. Davis, tell me how we got here. Yes, I'm here today because I feel like our relationship is coming to an end. He wants to play the popcorn act and disappear anytime he wants to in the relationship. And if he doesn't care about me, I know he does not care about my daughter. And so you're saying enough is enough. Yes, ma'am. So Ms. Davis has made some real serious accusations, Ms. Th Mr. Thomas. What do you say? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I'm here to uh, say this relationship. I'm a father first and then a boyfriend second. Um, I'm here to save my innocence because I played a part as a better role model for this family. I work hard every day and I plan to stop this and save my innocence. Okay, well, if you say so, Ms. Davis, you say that Mr. Thomas is really very selfish. Give yes. me some examples of what you're talking about. Yes, ma'am. One time we went to, uh to visit some family members in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, and he decided he wanted to go to a hookah lounge. I'm pregnant at the time, but I wanted to still support him and, and what he wanted to do. So I'm like, but I'm pregnant though. I can't intoxicate all that smoke or whatever. So uh, he's like, well, um, I'm tired of this because you never let, pregnant or not, you never want to go out anywhere. So wait a minute, Mr. Davis, you do, because the first thing you just said to me, and I'm gonna call you on what you say. You said you're a father first and a boyfriend second, which means you're looking out for your child and your family, right? Yes, yes, Your Honor. So you know it would not be healthy for your pregnant woman to be rolling up in a hook lounge because it could be dangerous to the baby. I'm sure you know that. Yeah, but I try my best every time to thick it thin. I mean, I understand the situation of it, but me and my homeboy, we had a little get-together. We tried to get there. Uh, Every time when situations happen dealing with her family, I was there for her every single time, every step of the way, with money problems, anything. I was there. I got up off my ass and I was there. I grew up as a man and I took care of my family and got us a place. Your Honor, he, he, he's very selfish. It was another time where we go to uh, his family member's house and he decides to go play basketball or whatever. And I'm like, uh, could you watch her for about two hours so I could just take a nap? Because I spent all these days, like, all throughout the week watching her. So he's like, no, I want to go hoop or whatever. I feel like that's very selfish of him. That's a lie, Your Honor. Okay, so, Mr. Thomas, um, you know, Ms. Davis makes some very um, specific accusations that when she needs you most as it relates to the baby, is she making valid points that you could be more helpful around the house? I mean, yeah, that's correct to a certain extent, but I feel like she's still lying about the situation because I definitely like to take care of my daughter. Like I said, I am a father first. But she's wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because see, about you know, something that young honor. people like, do, Robert, is they talk sense. quickly. Like, Excuse me. Mr. Thomas, those are words. I'm asking about actions. Taking care of your daughter is not just showing up when you think it's good. Do you think, and you gotta be honest with yourself, you could be more helpful with the small things that your woman uh, needs with the baby. Yes, Your Honor. I have evidence right now. My daughter had a birthday party on okay. Halloween. I made sure she had everything that she needed. She put nothing involved. She put no money, so sort of nothing. I'm talking about decoration from pinata, from candy, He's costumes, lying. everything. She didn't even have a costume on. 
Um, I, I see sometimes on social media, celebrities do these big extravagant birthday parties for their children. Um, I just have one question. The baby was one, right? Yes. If you had put a cupcake in front of her that she could smash her hand down like that and put the icing up in her face, she'd have had just as much fun. I ain't trying to hurt your feelings or take away from what you're doing, but she won. I love that you want to do wonderful, extravagant, fantastic things for your baby. That is off the chain wonderful. But what's going to be more important is when she's 16 and she has her first boyfriend and he breaks her heart, you being the kind of man that she comes home and that says, Daddy, I need to curl up in your arm because I want a man more like you. Yeah, exactly That's what you why, want. Yes. That's when you can come in here and brag to me. I want to start right. as early as possible. Even okay, if but she's you. One years old. But I'm gonna tell you what will be helpful is making sure you're respectful to her mother because you know what that will do. It will show her the example of the kind of man she wants in her life. And it may annoy you that I'm telling you this, but I'm old enough to be your mother. So since I'm sitting here in this courtroom behind this bench, and you came to me, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Your daughter is gonna have one male role model that's real close, and that's you. And you don't want somebody to treat her in any disrespectful way because you will be mad as can be if somebody breaks your baby girl's heart after all the things that you are trying to give her. I'm listening to you, Ms. Davis. You said to me, Mr. Thomas does disappear acts. I'm confused about that. Explain what you mean. Yes, ma'am. So, one time I had to uh, do a delivery. He decides to catch an attitude and get out the vehicle because we went the wrong direction. We were late um, dropping off the order. He's like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm really sick of this relationship. Do you even have a driver's whatever. license? Okay, whatever. So, he, he's sick of this relationship where I'm chasing him down, driving, and I'm like, uh, get in the car. He, he's like, no, I ain't getting in the car. You know, I, I catch you when I see you. The, another disappear thing. So, I'm like, Lies. all right, so I get, I get home. I'm waiting on him. Um, mind you, I have my daughter, so I feel like he abandoned us. Like, I'm waiting on him. He did. He never came. He's been. He disappeared from Your about daughter. Five, what about our days. daughter? Your daughter? But wait a minute. Hold up one one second. You said he disappeared for how many days? Five days. You didn't hear from him? No. And I, when he came home, I tried to confront him. And he told me, "Oh, uh, get off my job. That, that I don't have to uh, answer to you." Like, he just coming in the door. I'm like, where have you been? He like, bro, I don't got an answer to you. I started to pack up all my stuff. I go in the car. He he decides to snatch the, the car door knob off. I got out the car. I took a picture. But that, I feel like he... The he... red car door, Your Honor. This girl be going through so many tragedies with her mind psychologically. So did you not she pull... Can... Did you not pull that handle off? Another lie again. I provide each and every way I can. No, 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 nope, 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 nope. There's never been a time that you have been out of touch with her and your I child be out of touch. for five she days. She blows me up every second, no. every minute. You just admit it. I'm you, always available. You just admit it. Like, I blow him up. I'm always available. He does so, not Mr. Either, Thomas, every day. I want to be very clear on what you're accusing the mother of your child of. Did she just lie to me when she yes, said you Your disappeared Honor, she just for five lied days? Because she bugs me every time. That's She's not, around that's me 24 not, 7. She bugs I'm you never, is not the same. It's never I'm a time asking, I'm was there a time that you were not in the house? Was there a time I'm that you were. always around in the house. Yes, Your Honor. He, he, was, he was gone for five days. He even admitted just now that I was blowing up his phone, so which he did know that I was blowing up his phone, but he did not answer the phone. There was a and time when there. you didn't answer the phone for X amount of days. Is that accurate or not? That's not accurate, Your Honor. Anytime, whether even if it's just a phone call or even just shooting a text, I will reply on a text or a phone call when I have the time to be so, able to so do so. So what do you have to do for five days that you're not able to respond? Your Honor, I network. I'm trying to get my face card out there. You know, I have dreams too as well. You know, I'm trying to provide for everything for the family. It's not just about a me thing. It's a us thing. And I just feel like she always complains about everything I do. She's never satisfied. She want to be around me 24-7. She be homie hopping. She be trying to take me away from all my friends. I can't never be cool. I mean, I can't never just be myself around her. It's like each and every day is something new. It's a new other story that she just make up. 
Your Honor, another disappeared act. We had an altercation. He come back, he got new shoes on, he got a brand new hairdo. Like, he just coming in the door. I'm like, where have you been? He like, bro, I don't got an answer to you. I said, okay, so to, to um, not go off Excuse on him, me? I started to pack up all my stuff. I go in the car, he, he decides to snatch the, the car door knob off. I got out the car, I took a picture, but that, I feel like he... The he... red car door, Your Honor, this, this don't make any sense. This girl be going through so many tragedies with her mind, psychologically. So did you not, pull, could... the, did you not pull that handle off? Your Honor, no. With so the how did the handle come off? She made this up. That. I don't have Excuse the time. me, Mr. Thomas, are you saying to me she completely made that whole story up that she just told me? Yeah, she does crazy scenarios in her head. I tell you, she wants me around everywhere. So 24/7. she lied just now. Yes, it was a whole accident. I told you she ain't, she don't even have a license. I'm driving around with no license, I have whatever. He broke okay, the door. Okay, somebody has to help me understand how you can have one complete version of a story, and you have a completely different version of the story, and both of you say that you're not lying and the other one is lying. Ms. Davis. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you just sit down and ran down all of the things that Thank constitute you. a not great guy. Great guy. Why are you with him? I'm waiting. Oh, okay. I'm waiting, and okay. you need to chill. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Yes, and then, like, he had a, a sneaky link. He uh, disappeared again, and he, he, uh, his one of his family members booked a flight for him. Uh, without my consent, because, you know, I still had the newborn baby, so I had no help. My family members felt so bad, they had to uh, get a, a doula for me. So, um... You're feeling bad, because you don't want to do it. Whatever. They had to get a doula for me to help with the newborn baby. So he's out of town, partying up, talking about he's going to network. She um, is come, not come... innocent, Your Honor. Okay, whatever. Come she to find out. I have evidence, Your Honor. What come... evidence do you have? Yes, he was on a yacht with a female. Okay, let's see. I go on her page. Let's go to the videotape. That's the way I always do it. Let's see what we have. Cutie from Atlanta, so... Uh, are you just hanging out with folk, just having fun, basically? Is that yeah, what it's just, on? like, events. You know, like I said, I network around. I mean, we was on a, other different occasions. I mean... Is that what they call write, it now? I, they call it networking? I didn't even write that. Like, that is But that's crazy. what they that's call it. Me. It was on her page. She, she don't she, even know, she she don't even know who you. I am. If, she, you were if, if you were to show her that picture, she wouldn't even know. Ms. Davis. Yes, ma'am. Why are you with him? He, he's a great guy. Um... Where? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you just sit down and ran down all of the things that Thank constitute you. a not great guy. Great guy. I'm waiting. Oh, okay. I'm waiting. And okay. you need to chill. Thank you. Um, uh, he took care of me um, when I didn't have nowhere else to go. That's wonderful. Yes, ma'am. After that, um, things started to go left when I got pregnant and stuff like that. He, he's a great guy when he wants to be, not all the time. How does that make you feel when he disappears? Like, he's abandoning me and my daughter. The, the main reason I do hit his phone up because I want him to, you know, FaceTime, be like, oh, what she's up to, what, what my daughter's up to, and stuff like that. Um, but he doesn't. He just, when, he, when he's missing, he doesn't even call to check on her at all. Mr. Thomas, do you hear what uh, Ms. Davis just said? Yes, Your Honor. Regardless of whether or not you say she's telling the truth, that's how she feels. Correct. Do you think that's all in her head or does she have a reason to feel like that? I um, mean, I feel like she has a reason, but it's like, she's not perfect, like... Has she ever abandoned the baby? No, she never abandoned Has she abandoned you when you needed her? I mean, from time to time when she's upset. I mean, just like anybody. He's lying. You're not gonna make me believe that she walked out on you and didn't respond to you for five days. I told her she'd be homie hot, but she got homies. How would you feel if one of those homies swung by and picked her up in a car that had a handle and wanted to take your daughter out? Because you do know oh, she's place? a beautiful young lady. And you know how you stepped in and was there for her? You know that. And she just gave you credit for it, but you know how you stepped right in there? 
You know there's some other people out there that would do the same thing, right? Yeah, I feel like she she all right with the baby. Like she she do pretty good. I ain't gonna say she ain't she less of a mother, but I mean she do what she can. She provide when she can. I mean I can't I can't knock her for that. But it's just like. But do you, you want somebody correct. to take your place in your daughter's life? I mean it depends on how the man is. I mean as long as he don't step over boundaries, we ain't got no problem. I mean I'm. A, I'm an honest, just man. Like, I ain't, I ain't tripping. But, you know, just don't step over boundaries. Simple as that. So, I'm, I'm just curious because, you know, one of the things that I really love about having these conversations um, is I think that everybody's entitled to be their whole self. You're allowed to live your life to the fullest. Get your party on like you want to. But what you're not allowed to do is step on the person that you claim you love. She deserves respect. If for no other reason than she's a human being, that according to her, you actually at some point valued enough to step in when she needed you most. So there's something in you that made you step up as a young man. She said you were there. When other people weren't there, you were there. Okay? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. Do you mind if I speak? Uh, I just feel like she played a victim role a lot. And it's just like, with all this, this crying and this extra -ness, it's like, I just feel like it's just a lot of drama added on to it. It's like, she gotta own up, she gotta stop lying about it and just deal with the situation the way what it is. What is the situation that you want her to deal with? You know, just stop worrying about other people's relationships. I just feel like she envies a lot of stuff and don't like really try to fix her problem in the relationship. Like, she worried about somebody else that she see and be like, oh, I want to be that. Oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. She bring up her exes all the time. How, how would you feel? It's like, don't bring up somebody else that been in the past. I don't never bring up none of my exes. I think you um, pick a fight specifically so that you then have an excuse to disappear. I do. Because then you can walk away and say, you know what, you ticked me off and now I can be gone for the next couple of days and do what I need to do. And I'm not suggesting that you're doing anything untoward. You might just be living your life. Ms. Davis, and I'm gonna have to give you some real hard truths. You know that man that was there that stepped into that hole? That's not who he is. Not anymore. Now, he may come back to that, but if that's what your expectation is, you're going to be very disappointed. And I just need to say to you, Mr. Thomas, when you bring a, a, a life into this world and you all decided that this was the time to start a family, it forces you to grow up. No matter how successful you end up being, no matter how much many followers or fans you have, you're, that's not going to give you ultimate happiness. I may sound like, you know, the old auntie at the club, but I'll tell you what, you find too much happiness in what other people think about you. When in reality, none of that's gonna matter. Use some good sense right now while you have it. And the only reason why I say that, because at 23 and 24, y'all could just get your party on. But you have a baby. You have a little girl that depends on the two of you. And you said as much, she didn't have anybody that was there for her. And you said he stood there for you. So you might end up just being the only two people that that little girl has. She deserves better than what the two of you are given. Like, it's crazy, like, when you gonna understand? Gotta, I just still feel like you cheated. We gotta be on live TV for all this. Okay, but it I still feel no like sense, you cheated, though. so... Like, you always say somebody like cheated, you cheated. Robert, I think young people are living their entire lives on social media right now. You can't live your life for other people to judge. Right. I think that's probably one of the sickest things that our society does, and, and it puts young people like this in a position of um, being envious. The filter man is the one that should be getting the Emmy and the Oscar and the Grammy and the... Oh, yeah, and the, and the likes or... And whatever. the likes <laughs> and the followers. Because the person that came up with filters, mm -hmm. that's where the real money is. That's right. <laughs>